So the election of Syriza has set the cat among the Europe pigeons. To remind you why, this is Greece's new prime minister, Alexis Tsipras, former member of the Communist Party, speaking after his election victory at the weekend. Citizens of Athens, today the Greek people wrote history. Hope wrote history. The Greek people gave a clear, powerful uh, mandate. Greece changes uh, page. Greece leaves behind the poverty of the mo of catastrophe. Leaves behind the fear lives five years of humiliation, of suffering. And we're joined now by the UKIP leader, Nigel Farage. Welcome back to The Daily Policies. Let me begin with the same question that I asked Carol mm. Bilt. How do you think Brussels, uh, Frankfurt, Berlin should respond to Syriza's demand to write off a big chunk of their debt? It's a big game of poker, isn't it? You know, effectively, you've got Greece against Germany with the ECB as the invigilator mm. in the middle. Uh, it is a question of who blinks first, and frankly, neither side can afford to blink. I mean, if Syriza, having been elected with this sort of tidal wave of support, would have suddenly become very weak, um, I think having given all that hope uh, to Greek voters, my goodness me, they would be on the streets. And by the same token, uh, how can Mrs Merkel and the ECB allow a huge level of debt relief uh, without the same being extended to Spain. So I'm not sure what's going to happen. And Italy. And, and Italy, indeed. I was in Italy last week, and, and I have to say that the growth of Eurosceptic opinion in Italy is extraordinary, with nearly half the parties in Italy now saying perhaps there's a future outside the Euro. So it seems to me, I don't know Spiras, but it seems to me that he's the kind of guy who isn't frightened of anything. I don't see him backing down. So we're reaching a point, I think, where they've now convinced themselves in Brussels that if Greece leaves the euro, that's not a problem. Three years ago, they were in panic over it. They've now, they right. believe the firewall. Well, they think there. they've limited the contagion that's capability. That's right. No? They do. They do. So I, I, I think we reach a point where perhaps by the end of the year, uh, Greece may be forced to leave the euro, uh, and they think that'll be the end of it. Oddly, um, I don't buy the theory that the markets will knock on to the next country. I think the real threat for the euro is if Greece leaves and 18 months down the line, rather as Iceland did in 2008 onwards, Greece has had a devaluation and suddenly the economy is looking really quite good in Greece. That then, I think, is what says to other, other Mediterranean countries, we should do the same. It is not the policy of Syriza, or indeed, according to the polls, the view of the mm. Greek people, that they should leave the euro. No. Is it your view that they should leave the oh, euro? Oh, very much so, yes. Although, you know, when Argentina broke the peg with the dollar, it's very interesting that the day before they broke the peg, 80% of Argentinians wanted to keep the peg. The day after they left the peg, 80% were pleased they had. And it's that kind of situation. My own view is that if you're stuck in the wrong currency, one of two things happens. Either you devalue the currency by starting again, or you devalue the country. And we're, and we're watching Greece effectively before our eyes becoming a third world country. It is tragic. The, the rise of Euroscepticism in recent years has mm. been dominated by parties like yours on, on the right. Uh, and sometimes... Well, I, well I'm, not, I'm not so sure about that. Well, let, let, let me just use a shorthand. Mm. You can quibble about that later. And sometimes on the hard right with the National Front. And the left. Uh, well, but now it seems to be more on the left with the rise of Syriza yeah. and also with the rise of Podemos in Spain. Well, you see that or even your uh, friend, uh, the clown in Italy, too. <laughs> Um, you're beginning to see the left. Isn't this a threat to your view of, of Europe if no, no, you no. begin to see that Euroscepticism now becomes the, or at least anti-European elites becomes the voice of left-wing parties? Well, look, historically, it was the left that was against the European project, not the right. It was the Labour Party in Britain up until 1983 that said Britain should not be part of the EEC. When I first went to the European Parliament in 99, I sat in a group of Eurosceptics who were former communists and former socialists. So this goes back, back and forth between left and right. Am I concerned that the left are becoming Eurosceptic? I don't care about left and right politics. That's irrelevant. Mm. What I care about is a Europe 
where we have sovereign democratic states, where we can trade together and be friends and not be governed by a centralised bureaucracy in Brussels. Joe, what are your thoughts well, on this? Well, I think it's extremely interesting. Because, I mean, were, it's a very exciting time. It is all to play for. It is a mm. poker game. What has happened in Greece has been an explosive impact on what has been going on. And mm. the fact is that the European project has got sclerotic. It's got constipated. And it needed, had to have some major jolt. It was bound to, it came from Greece. It might have come from Spain. Indeed, Spain yes, might the timing follow. of the elections. Even and this all, election was a, a quarter, an emergency election. Mm. It wasn't meant to happen. Now, I am, I am very hopeful that the energy released by this new, this new input will galvanise those who believe in the European project, I'm not talking about the euro itself, the European project, of which I'm one, will come together to reformulate how it can go forward. And when you say people will resign, the uh, euro, it will be over, it will all be, mm. people will be out and around, talk is what will save this. Serious-minded talk, which will involve, although they won't use the phrase, um, Compromise, and well, that will and that will happen, and it will be happening even now. But as we you, speak. but you see, you can have compromise on the maturities of the debt. You could spread yes. out. It's already pretty spread out. They're yeah. not talking. You could spread it out to 2050. You could also have some compromise on the interest rates that Greek pays at the moment. Oh. They're paying on, uh, although the headline rate's four percent, they're actually paying on average about two point four percent. So you've got room there at a time interest rates low. That's not what uh, what Syriza wants. Syriza is insisting that at least 50% of the debt that is outstanding oh. is written off. But he is also on record as saying that he will not break his promises. He has said that the moment he was but elected. But his promise well, is to no, write I, off the debt. No, he, what, he, what he's asking for isn't going to be granted. And therefore, we reach the next step which is Greece being forced to leave the euro. He no, knows that's that. That's not the he, next step. He knows that. that. That's well, way, well, well, way well, down no, 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 the line no, 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 as no. a possibility. No, no, I mean, what he's, asked quite for, soon. what he's asked for is so radical that I think it's unthinkable to Mrs Merkel or others that it can be allowed. And I, I actually think there's a possibility of Greece exiting the euro this year. I really do. You well, don't think he's up for a deal at all? To stay in. He doesn't strike me as being that kind okay. of politician. But that's posturing, isn't it? You know, I, he doesn't strike me as being a sort of classic career type politician who's there for a compromise. Um, he wants something big okay. to happen. Well, and, 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 and if he weakens, uh, he'll be overthrown very but, quickly. But she, well, she's not, she who's going to also be thoughtful. Everyone now has to rethink. And that includes Angela Merkel, and I'm sure she acknowledges that. And I don't think. Anyone is going to concede quickly. I think we're in for a much slower evolution. Well, there are debt repayments coming up between, between now and well, there, But there are ways of dealing with them. It's really well, on the Greeks. Under the ECB law. rules, it's, if, 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 if you've lent money to someone and they don't pay it back, mm. it's You're illegal for you to provide that's liquidity right. any anymore. And the German constitutional courts are over this like a rash mm. as well. Yeah, but we will see. It's going to be fascinating. Who would have thought we'd now have two British election campaigns in a row fought to the backdrop of a Eurozone crisis? Mm. It's amazing. Might be three.